Hello, hello everyone, Asher C and I here with you today. Uh, kind of surprised, well, kind of left some hints and tidbits in uh, the Discord on when I potentially was going to be going live next. And, uh, it is the time. It is the day. Here we are. Hello! <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're doing a Game Boy Advance SP mod today. It's a full mod, IPS. Uh, I got my little panel here, my little screen panel. I've got a new chassis and everything like that. Um, new batteries and everything, because I have my ancient little old trusty. You can, oh yeah, you can even see the wire really good on the on the camera there. Um, but yeah, we are fixing, swapping the hardware out of this chassis from my original Game Boy SP into a new, nice, like pearly, pearly teal. Uh, chassis with custom buttons and, and everything like that. Should be an interesting time. I've never done anything like this before. But I'm techie. So we'll probably try to figure it out. The one thing I am concerned about maybe is there are very small ribbon connectors that I do not have tape to secure down with on the inside of the console. So hopefully it should be okay. Um, but either way, we will uh, we will sort her out. So let's swap over to the magical desk cam here. There we go. Sweet. All right. So we have the OG Game Boy SP. It still works. Um, I got a new battery for it because the other one turned into a spicy pillow. But uh, so here's. I don't want emerald cartridge and boop. Cheese it? Nope. Too late. Well, look at that. She's alive. Oh, you can see my like a ceiling fan. You can see the green screen. Oh my god. All right. But yeah, still works. So. works so cool deal so we'll go ahead and get that out of the way and we will start ultimately I guess ripping the OG one apart Let me scoot over to this guy Make like a nice Pokemon play mat I lost the original one of this I had so I went and ordered another one I just really like all the the mythicals on it super cute I love the Jirachi. It's hiding in uh, in that corner. So, all right. Let me shift out of you. Buy on. Anyway, so first things first is we should probably take the battery out. Right on now. So it's a little 90, 900 milliamp hour cell. Lithium polymer. It's just hanging out. Uh, yeah. So that's the, the new spec, fresh battery for working on the rest of it. And then, uh, yeah, and then we've got nice little teal buttons. Hopefully it looks like it should complement the, uh, the chassis pretty nice. So that'll be cool to work with. Um, so, all right, we got battery cover off. We don't really need to put it back on again because we're not uh, really using this again. Maybe getting rid of it for parts or something. Someone needs parts for it for some reason. The tray out so that we get that to work with. Okay. All right. So let's put you over there. 
And then it's nice that the mod kit I got came with, so I've got the chassis, I've got the buttons, I've got the hinges and little caps and stuff. Um, I got the back sticker and it even comes with the appropriate screwdrivers you need because uh, as it comes with companies that want you to get into their stuff, um, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little Phillips head and then there's a... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the definition of this is. It's like a trilobe or a Y or something like that. It's just a three-pointer instead of a four-pointer. So, um, which we will need for these one, two, three, four screws, five, six. Okay, so we got six of them. So let's go ahead and start. Let me apart. Baby's got some gunk in her. Come on. There we go. Oh, and it's Ferris. That's awesome. It's a little magnetic screwdriver. That's fantastic. I think I can even see... No, nah, that's just where the, uh... The metal goes into the, uh... The walls of my plastic or what have you. They shot around it. Come on, baby. Come on. for me. There you go. Oh yeah, she a little. She a little Grammy. Hopefully the inside of the chassis isn't too crazy. That would kind of suck. But if anything, I have some isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol to, uh, to clean it up with. They're the same length, they are the same length. So, if I need to put this part together, it should be all right. Will you just come apart? Nope. Okay, that's all right. You don't need to come apart right away. I imagine we probably need to take care of getting the screen off and the hinge and everything like that off. So let me grab a very tiny flathead. Just scrape away at the little rubber stoppers. It don't feel like cooperating. I might even need a smaller screwdriver than this. Two little pry lobes here. Da -da -da. Are they different lengths? They are not. They are the same as well. They're those two are the same, right? Really. Oh! Success! Oh shit, it's just hardcore falling apart now. Okay. Well, there she goes. Oh, fuck. Ah! <laughs> uh, come back here. Buttons. Let's try goes back in some decent order. There's a spring, there's a spring. Where do you go, my friend? Uh, 
you wrap around the post, you do wrap around the post. Uh, comes straight off. It does come straight off. Anything. You should be able to pop it here like so. Put the post back through. Retain. Ah. Okay. Let's try it again. Lykel! What's up, Lykel? Yeah, I love my desk mat too, man. It's awesome. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Long time no chat, my guy. Put this guy around. But yeah, I love all the mythicals on it. I originally had... I had this one originally. Well, not this, this, uh, this exact physical one. Um, I had one of these before, like years ago when I played Pokemon TCG, um, and at some point my car got broken into, I think, it's the only way I can understand or describe it, um, but my car got broken into at some point, and, like, my laptop and my, uh, card case that had, like, all my decks and all, like, the ones that I was using and stuff in it, uh, got stolen, I guess, and that card, like, it's one of those big, like, styrofoam container things. Um, I'm having a poor time describing it accurately. But it's a, it's a nice, squishy card case thing. So, uh, like, my laptop got stolen, I guess that got stolen, and that had, like, all of my playmats that I, like, really loved in it, including this guy here. Um... So I went and got another one. I just went on eBay and was like, Hey, does anyone have a National Championships 2018 playmat from staff? Because I, I don't... I, don't, I mean, I was a Pokemon judge for my local area, but I never went to Nationals or anything like that. I just loved just all the mythicals on it. It's super cute. Fucking Shaman. Shaman is life. And then Jirachi's really cute, too. I got a Jirachi shirt on, too. A nice little Drachi shirt on today as well. Doing great, just grinding away at work. How's your evening? As toasty out there as it is in the West. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Um, I think it was like maybe 90... Like low 90s today? Nothing too crazy. I spent most of my day outside uh, at a park working on wireless solder ins or uh, wireless networking installations. Um one of the parks that I service um, has been having their internet service terminated because someone cut off power at a pole that we were on. Uh, I won't get into the fun nitty gritty details of that because there's a lot of bureaucratic bullshit with, uh, with it. But ultimately, they turned off the power on the pole that we were on, so the park lost internet access, so we had to, like, emergency get pow get power and networking and everything like that uh, installed on a new tower somewhere in the park so that way we could wirelessly bridge and feed all the different buildings in the park. Uh, we've been working on it for like two weeks and we just turned it on today. Uh, we have like solar panels to power it. We're waiting on AC power to show up so that way it's a bit more reliable and stable. Yarny! What's up Yarny? Um, but we just turned it on today. It's freaking fantastic. The infrastructure is awesome. We have a 60 gigahertz radio that's running at like, it's like aiming two laser pointers, but we like nailed it and it's like two gigabits per second. So it's like running two ethernet cables through the air worth of uh, data throughput over like a couple kilometers. It's fucking fantastic. So we're doing the migration tomorrow which is just like changing them over routing wise, but then, uh, but then they should be good. But, uh, but yeah, today was pretty decent. Low nineties here for us too. You may as well be dumping lava down our throats. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Us Southerners. Well, Florida boy. And then Cali boy. We know shit's hot. Shit's hot, yo. And it's October, but it should be cool. It should be cooling down as time progresses. But I really, yeah, it's, I won't go into the full nitty gritty of it, but it's like the most stupid bureaucratic shit. 
Because I work in government, so it's just, it is what it is. Um, okay. And right away, I realize why the new chassis does not have a volume slider is because it's integrated on the board, and that makes sense. Because it's integrated right onto the, uh, it's like a little potentiometer here for the volume to slide up and down. So, of course, that would be a separate toggle slide. But the power switch is. So you can just do the little plastic insert on it. Easy peasy. Yeah, man. Yeah, Bjarni, how you... That is a very cool emote. It's like ghost with... Oh, I forgot. I should turn my chat box. Oh, no, you guys are down here below me. Okay, we're okay. I should probably do... Uh... Transparency I can, like, mildly tweak. I think there is. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Ah. Don't know how to do it off the top of my head, but eh, it is what it is. If there's one thing I personally heard many people say they love, it's government bureaucracy. Yeah. It's, it's one of those ones. Yeah. But, um, but anyway. So we've got our back... Oh, I will hold the pin so that way this doesn't disappear on its own. So we got the back cover off of our, uh, our OG Game Boy SP. So that can go sit over there. We no longer need it. Um, and here's the old guy. It's a little bit dirty. It's a little bit crusty. Probably should have used compressed air, but I don't have compressed air handy. Um, oh, that's cool. There's like the actual buttons for the... Uh, shoulder buttons and everything. That's pretty cool. Hey, I'm chill. Just achievement hunting in Elden Ring again and having a little midnight meal. Cool, cool, cool. Good deal. Alright, so... This infrastructure is wild to me. It's really cool. And the little... the circuitry, rather. It's really cool. Um, alright, but either way, I'm getting dinged from something. One second. Uh. <laughs> also, my mom is, uh, is camping. And she's sending me pictures of her campsite of before and after. She was worried she wouldn't be able to like fully set up her tent herself. But it looks like she's managed it really easy. She's by like the Hudson River right now up in New York. And she's got some beautiful pictures. It looks gorgeous up there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and she sent a video. I'll have to look at that later. Alright. Uh, what the hell is step two? Or step three, or whatever it is. I see two screws. Oh no, I see three screws. That look like they're holding the board to the rest of the chassis. The problem is, once I go to take the board off, I have a feeling the screen is probably... There's like going to be a little ribbon or something that the screen's still connected to. Going camping up there this weekend? Ooh, is it pretty up there? Yeah! How can I... Hmm, hang on. Let's see if I can not dox my mother. Oh shit. Ah. Discard. Fuck. Fuck me, fuck. There. Ah! Anyway. Rip. 
Uh, but yeah. She's up a 10. It's great. Pretty up there. My good buddy is out near Ithaca right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we love the Finger Lakes region. It's beautiful up there. Um, all right. So anyway, didn't see anything. Then I'm right, Gurney. We have no idea what happened. Um, in fact, let me delete that now. Goodbye. All right. Anyway. Let's take, I presume, these three screws out. And it will just magically lift off. I saw nothing. I don't know what you mean, Lego. I saw absolutely nothing. Anyway. Okay. Are there any other screws? Doesn't really look like it. Is Cayuga one of the Finger Lakes? Yes, yes it is. Um, you see. Or Cayuga, Cayuga Lake, yeah. There's Cayuga Lake, Canadagua, Cayuga, Seneca. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, Hanoi, or I, I don't really fully know how to pronounce that. It's like H-O-N-E-O-Y-E Lake. Um, Hemlock Lake, Cuca Lake, Seneca Lake, Cayuga Lake, Alaska Lake, Scanatelli's Lake, I'm gonna pronounce you so horribly, Otisco Lake, wow, there's a shit ton of finger lakes. I was not aware. I mean, I was kind of aware, but like, that's, that's more than five fingers, so. There's a lot of fingers, it's a Freddy Krueger thing. Um, as someone who grew up in a fishing village on Tiny Ass Island, middle of nowhere, what the hell is that and what are you doing with it? Oh, okay. Um, so this is a Game Boy Advance SP. Um, it's a nice little... Is there anything important? Not re Oh, shit. Okay. Well, it's... One of my questions just got answered. It's completely unseated and I think it's just freely... Oh, yep, it's just freely moving. Alright, well... Good God. Okay. Anyway, um, I can show you with this example. But ultimately, it plays Game Boy games. So you have... It's a nice little pocket. It's like a Game Boy. It is a Game Boy, but it's just a small little flip... Flip edition. And we got some nice little teal buttons to go in it. We got some hinges. Some button just flew off for uh, the light button. Put that over there. Um, but yeah, I would play Pokemon and Mario Kart and, and all that stuff uh, on it when I was a kid. And then, you know, as kids do, um, kids are stupid. Um, I'll be playing Pokemon when I'm like at like 10.30 at night or whatever when I'm supposed to be asleep. And my parent, I'll hear like my parents approaching my room. So I'll close it and like pretend I'm asleep in my bed. And, but... You know, sometimes you'll leave the volume on, so you'll hear, like, little Pokemon battle music coming out of the bed. You know, that kind of, that kind of hilarity. Um, but yeah, but, yeah, lots of great memories with it. I have plenty of games for it. Um, like, I've got this fresh copy of game, uh, Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, all that stuff, you know. Same thing with DS, like you're playing it, you just... <laughs> yeah! So I figured I may as well try to breathe some life into it. Um, the original battery turned into a spicy pillow. Um, and like puffed up really big, so I got rid of that and recycled that battery, and I got a new one. But then I figured while I was getting a new battery, why not just get a new chassis and do like a little custom mod with some fresh buttons and a, uh, a proper IPS display. Uh, so it's like nice and bright and vibrant and everything. So uh, here we are. Welcome welcome to the full IPS mod stream of a Game Boy Advance SP. Spicy. Yeah, you don't want that thing to set on fire. Um, yep, relatable. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so here we are. Um, Alright, so those three screws 
let me put these buttons so they don't fly off into space. Um, so gently, gently, because we need to reuse this. All right, there's the light button. So the rubber pad, it is a rubber pad. Did I just break it? Nope, that's also just a rubber pad that's associated with it. It's okay, we're good. We're good. We're not stressing whatsoever. Um, yeah. So hot, dude. So hot. Alright. So we got just this little ribbon connector. So we pop it like our little Lego. There we go. There's the Game Boy Advance SP on a unshelled. It's pretty cool, actually. You got the little contacts for the uh, button contacts for the D-pad and start select and everything like that. So pick those up. The other sitting on the rest of the chassis, so that should be okay. What is this? What are you? Uh, I have no idea what that is. Connections are a little grody. Should be okay. We can live with it. Well, you know what? No. Hang on. Uh, let me go grab my Asu purple alcohol. Hello. <laughs> anyway, all right, we got some isopropyl alcohol. It's 99% isopropyl alcohol for technical use, so it's the shit. Little cap of it here. Gently, we'll move that to the side. And I don't know if you should technically be using Q-tips to do this, but YOLO, I guess. Mostly just doing the alcohol where, like, it's pretty gross. If you can actually properly tell, there's like a little bit of a little bit of sludginess, some schmoo. Mostly just from like gathering dust, I imagine, and get that all nice little. Wipey wipe. Hopefully this turns back on after I'm done with it. That'd be great. Efficient. Bring like more schmoo on the main panel. Not really. There's like a little bit schmoo in the pan and the uh, connectors, but they should be okay.
didn't even irritate me, so I'm trying to make it disappear. It kind of helped. If anything, move the schmoo around a little bit, but that's that's whatever. It should be all right. Okay. So next, do we need whatever this is? What are you? Looks like we, that's the speaker. Okay, got it. I don't need that. Ooh, don't tell me we're like properly stuck in there. Oh no, okay. Oh, look at that, it's cute. That's adorable. Okay. Or it looks like it was glued in there at one point and then now I'm disturbing the piece. Go. Pop you in there. Pop the speaker right into the new. Pretty easy. Nothing too crazy about that. Let's go ahead and get the new buttons up and going. Button, button. Where art thou, button? Okay. So, what we got? Got the deep pad there. Push her through. Pop that in. Is there a particular placement for it? No, not really. Okay, so we should be good. We can place this cap right back on it. There we go. Nice and happy. And we can take the start select off. So it'll just be individual buttons, I believe. Yeah. So we'll just pop those guys out. Nothing too crazy about them. Uh, these small boys go. It's one. Two. Put the cover back on. For the A and B. Be able to. These are very. Well, they're keyed. So that way you know which ones are which. Nailed it. Alright, so the Y is A. This guy is B. Pretty good. Let's go ahead. Put that membrane back over it, and then we should have just the little light button. light button, and then we'll deal with the triggers in a bit. Go. Okay, that looks good. So in theory, we should be able to... I think I need to do the video cable ribbon first, but we will do a test fit. Looks good. It's almost like it belongs in this kind of chassis. You'd love to see it. If I fold it. Oh, that's cute! That looks really cute. I am very content with that. Buttons feel okay? Yeah. Good deal. Alright, I'm very happy with that. You love to see it, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and move these original buttons over here. Miss anything? I did not. Okay, cool. And then we got the little power toggle switch, which we'll deal with 
when we get the that will go in the bottom of the chassis so may as well do that now pop out the original one that came with this we will that probably would have helped if I paid attention to how it sits oh no we're good there we go does it click 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 yeah that works great awesome okay and then I, I already know how to do the springs in the post because I accidentally did it with the other one it looks beautiful yeah yeah it looks really gorgeous let's not touch anything sensitive it looks super pretty we have the nice I knew the teal would go great with like the like the pearl sky bluey kind of look love it can't wait to get the triggers on the uh, the bumpers on and the screen should be pretty cool too with a full IPS screen so let's move you um, excuse me sir could you come over here please excuse me mr. start selector come on yeah okay do I need to salvage anything else from you I don't think I do now it's basically just it's basically just the old chassis so long farewell Vita sing goodbye my friend it's been fun okay so what's next what's next what's next let's move the battery so that doesn't do anything stupid and let's put our screwdrivers up there let's get the screen in like the screen part of the the chassis here so let's get you open there's that panel Go. To Papa. There we are. Okay. All right. So we got a nice little screen. Jeez. Don't fucking break it, Azure. And screen. We got something that's like. Please don't tell me I have to solder. That would suck. Fragile, handle with care. Do you don't fall? Don't fall. Not pressure. Pe peel this film before installation. No kidding. Okay, and it's the tiniest little like Lego connector. Good lord. Okay. before installation we're doing it we're doing it live oh, wow it's gorgeous and it's already got schmoo on it from little dust particle and if I I'm gonna touch it and I'm gonna like put a fingerprint on it and I'm going to like lose my mind so let's not do that first okay um uh, Attach this insulating film to the metal surface on the back of the screen. Got it. So that will separate the chip from the... That makes sense. Okay. So let's... Better down. And me. Okay. Does that sit like that? Question mark. No, yep, and I'm touching it. I'm already put finger... God damn it. Okay. Okay. So, what do I do with you? I guess let's do the film first. To insulate it. I don't have to push too hard to not break the screen. That'd be great. Okay. We got our little insulating film to prevent it from shorting out, I imagine. And then 
we will take you. And you have like a sticky deal on you to like put you in place or no? I venture not. That you go something like this. And then it like folds over. That looks about right. I am greatly concerned about putting that connector down, but we will see how it goes. Or right, you know what? Let's take it out of this first, and then we'll do it. Okay. If we just take you... feel like I need like a microscope for this but we're doing it okay that wasn't that bad okay our screen is connected to the little board carefully measure carefully I wonder if this can go top. It would be cool if I had a guide, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I know I'm missing screws. I know, I set them off to the side, didn't I? It's you, right? Yeah, it's you. You have all the individual little screws. Okay. I don't think we need those yet. Be okay. I'm not sure why this wire is here. Full red wire. I'm not sure why it exists. Hmm. Ultimately, that isolates it, so now I should be able to, and it's just the ribbon cable, right, that goes, snakes its way through. So, in theory, I should be able to do basically this. Let's take the board off, pass the ribbon through. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Come on, buddy. Take her down. Where do you go, bud? Do you not want to wheel over the speaker? speaker just disappeared off into fucking space. Huh. Da -da -da.
I genuinely have no idea where that speaker part just disappeared to. Alright, well, I'll have to find that at some point. I hate when things just, like, disappear off the face of the earth. You lose them for, like, one second, and then they just apparate. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait! Ah! There you are. Don't drag it through the ground, please. Damn it. You always have the best chill playlist, Azure. Thanks, sweetheart. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm just playing some Zelda and chill. Some Zelda lo-fi. Oh. Yeah, it's that Zelda lo-fi and chill. Uh... That was the way that goes. Okay. This is the playlist I need for I'm grinding in way into the wee hours of the day. Yeah, there you go, sweetheart. Yeah, it's nice, chill, get through stuff kind of music. Come on, behave for me. Oh, you. Yeah, can I get? Come on. You know you want to get through the hole. It's specifically for you. <laughs> okay, speaker, you can go hang out over there. Go into your home. Bruh. Go into your home, you know you want to. Come on. Oh, I see. I see. I'm just a living. Uh, what the frick? Not seem right. I think I'm supposed to bend like that. Oh, you know what? That works. You know what? I bet it's supposed to go in a different way. Bet it's supposed to like fold over itself or something so that way it can like... Let's see, how does it go into the actual board board? Goes in, presumably face down. It's like this. Goes into the hair. Could basically wrap around like this, but it looks like it's gonna like completely lose its mind when I do that. Okay. YOLO, I guess. particularly the thing that you want to hear someone say when uh, they're working on a game console. It looks like that should like be okay to open up and everything. Maybe.
Yeah, it's gotta be the way. It's just an annoying way. Okay. If only we had something for reference to compare against. Like you go that way too, don't you? You really have to, but it looks like that's what you have to do. Did they include a spare screw? No, that probably holds the hinge part on. It's totally what that is. It holds the hinge on. Okay. Well, I guess we send it like this and hope that it makes sense in the end. I have no idea what else it's supposed to do. What happens if I close it? Yeah, that seems about right. Okay. We can figure that part out. Oh god, please, release. Okay. Now, let's finish the screen assembly. Let's just get it in, get it done, get it good, and then move on. So. I don't go through you, I go through the other. This will be interesting. So that's all the OG stuff. Just gonna full send it looks like I guess. Yep. Yep, that's just gonna be what it is. Alright, well. Anyway. I presumably need five screws. One, two, three, four, five screws that all line up with this. Which it looks like they will. This is supposed to go here. Kind of keep it from moving around in the chassis. Would be my uh, inclination. Let's go ahead and sandwich her up. Oh god, we're hitting the board. Do not hit the board. Probably easier just to put it backwards like this. We seat the screen. It sits happily within the chassis, he said. There, oh my god, it's like it was meant for this. Um, we, we'll, we'll wipe the fingerprints off, that's, that's no biggie. There we go. So there we are. But yeah, I hope your day went well, sweetheart. Hope everything's good in your neighborhood. Should get that belt, did it? Back over. Both buttons fall out? No, just the one.
Do not break anything. Please. Please, please, please. It is very springy. It wants to get away from me, but it will not have it. And of course, you're up the trilobe. Come on, baby, please. Just behave. I think I nailed that one. Did you not? Thank you. That looks like it's properly together and in there. We'll add more. Just want to do a quick sanity check. Never hurts to do a sanity check when they're doing building something. Good. It's one more. Fucking hell, I almost just pierced the display. That would have been fucking rough. Yeah, that looks like it makes sense. I will not put the stickers, the little cover caps over it until uh, this thing actually powers on and does things. So, so speaking of that. Let's go ahead and put the speaker back in place. Try to finesse this cable through. Look at that, it's like I know kind of what I'm doing now. As he drops the speaker. Okay. We feel it, Mr. Krabs. We feel it. Ah, shit. Okay. That back over. There we go. 
Get these nice and flat. If I have it, yeah. Oh, my God, it sits flush and everything, too. Okay, all right. I'm feeling very optimistic, chat. I need to put the hinges on. Let's just sanity check this real quick. Ooh, I do not like hearing like the crunchiness of that ribbon connector. did it? I feel like that's just begging for nonsense to happen, but here we are. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll take with the three screws. Are you guys are right. That'd be the pentalobe, like the little trying. Oh, they were kind and they did Phillips instead of the the three pointer. That's awesome. Because they figure if you're going to take it apart, you're probably going to put it back together. Or they figure if you took it apart, you're probably going to put it back together again. Uh, I do a bunch of stuff with it, so. Um, am I, like, brain farting right now? Oh, no, I see the three. Here. That seems to make sense. We're good and not like over tighten, but tight enough. German torque spec is good and tight, so. Weirding me out is that like the plastics sometimes don't feel like they're meant to be like that. So I keep hearing like little creaks and stuff and I'm like freaking out internally. Script? I don't know. Should be okay.
board is in. Not going anywhere, so that's cool. Do. Ooh, wait, I think I missed the little screw that holds shit. Yeah, I did. Uh, there's a little tiny screw under this connector that holds that piece on for the hinge, so I should probably take care of that. Let's pop this off again. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Yep, there she is. Alright, cool. So let's do... Cool. It's over it, so that keeps it protected. Cool. Now... Keep together, keep together, okay. Okay. Should be able to put the screw through it, hopefully. Question is which one is it? Uh, this letter guy. Which means one of them was wrong. It's the pencil a little bit. That seems like it would make sense because it's a long, reaches into a different part, so it would have to be a little bit longer. That's exactly what that was. There we go. down properly again. Darn. Should be able to use these guys again. That seems promising. Probably tighten that up, actually. Uh, take it back off again. Yeah. We're getting good. We're getting good at 
getting good at figuring it out and doing repeat skills, so. Not a pentalobe, it's a trilobe, whatever it is. percent but it's pretty much there pressure on it so that way the buttons properly work. Hmm. How to install the hinges, I wonder. that up. See if it feels right slotted in one way versus another way. But so far, I can't seem to tell.
These do not lock for some reason, so I'm not sure what's sure what the deal is. Hmm. Do I need like a pusher maybe? seem like it. Hmm. I am not sure how that is supposed to go, unfortunately. Hmm. Maybe I will have to look that up. But I don't believe that should stop me from being able to assemble the rest of it. Right? Think a think. I got it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so now we do the other one. on. See, the question is, why do I only have three... There should be four. Oh no, I see it's stuck to the magnet. Oh, there's a couple of them stuck to the magnet. Whoops. We should have one, two, three, four. And then two smaller boys to go and secure it to the rest of the chassis, I believe.
that, put that in. Take the battery cover off. the rest of the way down Bet you this was for the actual hinge part. Now we need another white or another silver for this gun. Ah. safe to take out should be good there we pop these guys off again because they cry That seems to make more sense. Darn. Yeah, that's a lot tighter. Okay, cool. Get these guys 
these guys again. That is almost stripped, so that's unfortunate. That means get it freaking right, dude. Get it right and don't keep taking it apart like a numbskull. Um, all right. Okay. That's good. surrounding corners no extra screws we love to see that Feels pretty good. Last one. Slider feels good. Ooh. I cinched down too hard on the the power switch. She's proper stuck, though. So, okay. Oh, well, I'll have to do that then.
Why are you not behaving? Mm -hmm. You don't want to come out, bro. Come on now. Don't get stuck on me now. Oh, dude, come on now. Come on, my friend. I need you to cooperate with me. like stripping out on me. I almost feel like I need like slight pressure on it to get it to move a little bit for me. Come on buddy, come on. Wanna be released? I know you wanna. Come on. Be free, please. Come on. sunk it in there. Jeez. Screen okay? Screen's okay. But you were in the blue power button area. Come on, my guy. I just need you to release so I can properly seat it again. Please and thank you.
There you go, you jerk. Jeez. All right. Little power switch go. There's my power switch. So it would probably help if we matched the polarity on it one sec. There we go. It matches. So I probably tried to sandwich it on when it was in the off position. There we go. That works. I probably tried to sandwich it on when it was in the off position and then it got angry. Okay. Put it together. At least try to sandwich it together as best we can. And then I'd love to put a battery in it and uh, see if it works. In fact, I will do that now. So, hopefully no kaboom. Okay. Turn on. We have picture, we have sound. It's promising. Heal you up. screw for the battery cases non freaking existent okay okay Getting excited, chat. I'm getting excited. I think I know what that little red cable was for. It's, um, I think the screen is touch sensitive and that's a probe so that way it knows. Shit. Oh, well. It's fine. I don't really need anything beyond the default anyway. Cause I think that's just the change menu options on like the screen. need to figure out the hinges. I'm not sure why they're doing that, but uh, but either way. We have a cartridge. That works. Good.
that light button will no longer do anything because it's just an IPS screen. But uh, I think uh, I think we got it. That is epic. The screen looks amazing right now too. I don't know if you can. I don't, know. I don't think it's going to carry over on quality wise, but it's gorgeous. So, all right, cool. That works just dandy. Those buttons should be okay. All right, well, I think I think we're sorted. I need to figure out the hinge part, of course, because those are the these are the hinge caps. Nintendo inlay in there. There we go. Nice. Okay. The volume works, the power works. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Need to figure out the battery coupling and why it's being a jerk. Seems like. Seems like it's supposed to go through. Oh! You know what it is? It's, uh. It's supposed to be like this little nut that's supposed to retain it. That's what it is. Shh. Ah! Well. One more time. One more time. Ugh, how annoying. Yeah, I imagine I probably should have looked up a guide for this, but I'm techy enough that it shouldn't be too crazy. I can usually pretty decently figure out how to like reverse engineer things on a basic level. Because the beautiful thing about taking apart something is that it was already once whole, so you already know that you have all of the pieces that were in it and made it what it was. So, if for some reason the piece doesn't go back, then the onus is probably on you for messing up something. Not putting it where it's supposed to go. Case in point, the battery cover retention nut. Wow! Wow! Come there, we go. Put you in the safe place. All right, now where do you go? You just sit there. Now, does it get retained at all? It looks like it kind of does. Oh shit! Ah, uh, man, that fell. Pretty sure I know where it went. I have a flashlight, is
There we go. Looks like it retains itself pretty well. Let's plot it back up. With the power button, that'd be wise. Go. That should properly retain now, so we should be good. Beautiful. There we go. Alright, so that's all put back together again. Let's pop the battery back in. Go, battery cover. That actually goes on. I feel like, no, the nut's still there, so we're good. And then the Phillips. Let's see if we screw you in. Oh my god, it's like it was meant to do that. Alright, cool. Pop thermal back in. It's alive! Cool. Cool deal. Yeah, we need to figure out that hinge problem. That's gorgeous. That's good. All right. Voila, we have the thing. Now, it's probably a question of how to fix the hinges, and the answer is probably carefully. That's not the most elegant solution of doing that, is it? Siri. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Look up how to install the hinges, I suppose. Ba, 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 ba.
Great, my guy. We understand. Don't go telling me the answer is just like push harder. Because that'd be a lot of freaking force to use. Yes. Pretty much figured it out. We got the one in. Now it's a bit stiffer. The problem is I got the other one figured out. You got like damage it's doing this. That's not mint, is it? Let's 
assuming there's a lubricant, or a well, not lubricant and adhesive on these. Maybe. Or they might just stick on their own volition and I'm being kind of Oh yeah, okay. They just sit on there in there on their own volition. Cool. Okay. Wait, it closes up nicely. It doesn't slam on itself. Beautiful. There we go. I love the teal. I love the teal on the uh, the nice like pearl, the pearl blue. It's mm. gorgeous. Cool deal. I will have to figure out how to get this guy properly shoved in there at some point I suppose oh there we go nailed it I just had to use the edge of my desk and a bit of force and uh, not the cleanest it's a little scuffed up because I tried doing a friggin screwdriver with it but but all right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now it. Now it properly snaps, and we can close it. Cool. Oh, that's nice. That's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. It can flip back a little bit. But ultimately. Yeah. Cool deal. Uh, a different one. Pause the music real quick. We'll pop Emerald back in. Emerald's great. Love region. All of the, the Gen 3 games are fantastic. Now the question is, will it hear it? Nope, that's okay. Nope, that's okay. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> cool. Pretty cool. Lisa comes out of, uh, out of the clouds to tell the two feuding children to chill. Cool. Very happy with that. All right. So that's pretty much it, folks. I didn't have anything else pl planned for this evening. Uh, just doing this. I wasn't sure how long this was going to take. Uh, but we finished. We're done. We're ready to rock and roll. Yeah, nothing really much to it. 
Uh, I suppose what I can do is, this has still got the original stuff in it. So anyway, I can probably just put this back kind of together again, put the buttons back in, because who knows when someone else will want or want to care about it or need it. Shit. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll put those buttons back. Rubber seals back. Problem is now they don't have anything to sit against. No, no, there's the card. I can use the card for it. Good work, Asher. Thanks, sweets. Too bad. What did it take? Like almost two hours? About two hours with a little chatting and. And taking it apart and putting it back together again because uh, we didn't know the exact steps that we were supposed to follow and kind of just winged it. So let's put all you back. Okay. Hard. Do you so? Might be this way. Yeah, it's this way. Sits and holds on to the buttons so that way they don't go anywhere. Alright, maybe, 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 maybe. Crazy. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know. Either way, more or less. There we go. There we go. She's seated. Um, all right. Yeah. So we'll just put this chassis back together, and then I guess if it needs spare, if anything needs spare parts or anything, we can uh, can resort back to that. Oh, you know what we didn't do on the new one? We didn't put the serial sticker on it. Uh, let's go ahead and. Put that on there for me. Oh, mint. Absolutely mint, except for that small little bubble. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's got the little, it's got that little bubble. It's going to irritate me. So there we go. That's friggin' awesome. That feel good. Flips open. Well, that feels good. The light switch will do nothing. So that light button is not going to do anything anymore. Because uh, cause the IPS displays in here. And I'm not going to be able to change anything on the IPS because I forgot to connect the little tiny uh, this little tiny red wire for touch sensitivity. But eh, it's fine. If anything, the, uh, the IPS display should work out really well. And, uh, Keep the batteries. Batteries good for a long session. So, voila, voila, la 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 la. Put this guy back together. Uh, what are we missing? We we should be professionals at this now. So we got the two small guys, right? Are right, the lubes, the lubey lubes? You are. Phillips, sir. Can't do work without tunes. Go. Okay. Technically, don't have. 
Uh, I don't know. I can still put them in here. Plus, I forgot the... Yeah, I can put those back in. So if, I, if at any point in time I need to put the board back in, the screws are already in place. Oh god, the spring came off. Fucker. Ah. Losing my mind putting the spring back in together. Come on. She's properly seated now. There we go. Power switch is still good in place. We're good there. All right. There was a point to taking that off, and that was to put those three screws back in. Come on, man. Come on. Focus up. You off. And Phillips, you were Phillips, so. back up again. back in.
anything? Looks good. Throw the battery cover back on it and uh can put it to rest. Well, I think I'm going to be incredibly annoyed because the tension nut sounds like it came loose, and it did. We're done. We're good. We are done and good. for the memories, buddy. Best. So that will do it for me, I think. I don't really have anything else planned, stream-wise, or anything like that, so we should be good to go. Nice little chill stream to, to hang out and stuff I was gonna do anyway but why may as well stream it you yeah? so, know we'll go ahead and put that stuff away we'll get like a little baggie and put that stuff away so that way I have something cool like replacement battery or uh, buttons if I need to use them but uh but yeah folks there we go so we've got yeah So yeah, there's the uh, the old versus uh, versus the new. Cool deal. But um, uh, but yeah. So that will do it for me, folks. I appreciate you guys coming around and lurking and chatting and just. Just sharing the vibe, and that's all we're really doing. Uh, as far as feature streams going on, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next. Um, probably some more Derail Valley. We got uh, military stuff. I'm pretty sure we unlocked military uh, military trains to uh, deliver and all that jazz, so we can try to do that. Um, I think. I think Satisfactory Update 8 is coming out but sometime this month. Um, I know for a week I'll be in TwitchCon, so I won't really be streaming or probably gaming, but not really streaming or anything during that week while we're at TwitchCon. So, um, but um, I'll let you know if you want to know. You can hop in the Discord. Uh, let's see. If you want, you can hop in the Discord. There's live notifications, pet pics, bird pics. I do a lot of bird pictures um, and throw them in there. They're really cool. Um, yeah. And if you want to contact me up through otherwise and just see how everything's going and, and chat offline, you can get me through Discord as well there too. Um, but uh, without further ado, who else we got? We'll throw it over to Rainy. She's got her first stream this month going on since she took a break from uh, her subathon in September. So, so we'll go ahead and throw it on over to Rainy if you would like. Uh, raid. You can copy those raid messages there. If not, no worries. You can just hang out, and get some channel points, and all that, and all stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. Appreciate y'all. I hope you are safe, happy. 
and healthy wherever you are in the world. And uh, yeah, just sending good vibes out there. So this has been Azure Sea Night. Have a great rest of your night. And uh, I will catch you later. Peace.